that I find very sad is that a lot of OnlyFans girls is that the only reason that they are pushed to advertise their OnlyFans on TikTok and Instagram is because there's people who want young women to get into the pornographic industry because what happens is it's very difficult for them to ever have children and get married with a successful family who pass on their DNA to the next generation once you've done adult content. Because most righteous men do not want their father-in-law or their, or their f colleagues masturbating to erotic videos of their wife. It's quite upsetting. A man should instinctively want to have his woman's body all to his own. To know other men are fantasizing about penetrating and engaging in sexual intercourse with their wife is quite disturbing because then no one knows who the father is. I mean, you don't want to raise a child for 20, 30 years and then find out it's your colleague Frederick's baby and you just spent a million dollars and 20 years of your life being emotionally supportive to spread another man's DNA. His ancestors are the ones who are going to live on because there is something to be said for DNA. 50% of your personality is from your DNA code that's passed down from generation, generation, generation. And there's people I see because I am a sucker for beautiful women. I hate it. I hate the fact that I like looking at hot girls showing off their bodies. I've got a hot girl of my own. I'm engaged to be married in a few months. Been with her for eight years. She's very attractive, very charming. But I still get temptation. I get temptation to look at these beautiful women. It's very, very shocking. It's high quality, extremely shapely women. They've got this perfect bone structure and they've got these massive blue eyes and they've got like these really, really milky white legs and it's just extremely shapely and they've done like some kind of resistance exercise, they eat a lot of salmon and just very... <sighs> but um, I understand, it's like cheap pleasure, it's like a child going to a candy store and just wanting to eat every single chocolate bar every single time they walk past. If a child was allowed to consume every single chocolate bar they want, they would pass away from diabetes at age six. And then all civilization would just be die off. It would just be nothing but cockroaches and ibis birds on this world with skyscrapers being overrun with moss. That sounds gross to me. Human beings are wonderful. We're magical creatures. I want us to be there. And one of the ways that humans can be there is through having sex and having babies. Because that's why people want sex. Because sex is how you make babies. So when you find someone attractive, you're thinking, I'd be able to make excellent babies with them. And the society would really benefit from our two GNA, DNA gene pools coming together. Because all you can see is, fuck, they're so compatible with me. My goodness. It doesn't even matter if I'm a part of their life. Their DNA is so fucking good that I can just hit it and quit it. And that kid will most likely be successful and still grow up to be like a fucking sick cunt. Just because they are so fucking hot that I can just manipulate them, have sex with them once, and their kid is still going to be great because their mum is so hot, they're going to have an easy life. But it's not helpful to think about it that way because so many kids are fucked up when their dad leaves. And so many kids are fucked up when, because their mum may teach their kid to hate men. Or they'll get lots of men over for one night stands and the kid will not respect women. Um, so, what the fuck was the point of this? Oh yeah, it's not a good life. What's the point of posting sexy content, women? Because you get attention, but you, you, can, you don't really want that attention. Because your attention is just from sleazy guys or guys who are married and they don't want to be looking at it, you know? But you're, you're giving candy to a child, like a man, to look at an extremely, extremely attractive young woman who's got like perfect, perfect legs and she's, she squats and she's, but she's thin, she's got a thin waist and 
she's just really cute and she's got this open naive expression and she's just got this you know it's just so overwhelming you don't understand like it's literally like fuck crack infused candy for a man it's insane and so it's only you're only powerful because for generation and generation and generation and generation and generation and generation, and generation hot white girls they were made to deny their body from strangers because it's just so powerful. I understand you want to have total freedom, but freedom to what? To fucking cast spells on men with your voluptuous body? That sounds quite selfish because if we were just having complete freedom, then I would just be using my conversational abilities to manipulate sales tactics on people to a very assertive degree. I could just, I could sell the fucking Bible to the devil. But I don't because I have ethical responsibility. I, I could work somewhere like anywhere like JB Hi-Fi and just push all these submissive women to buy shit they don't need. I look into their eyes and say, yeah, oh yeah, your son's education. Yeah, if you believe in your son, you have to buy this laptop. The graphics card, it's really necessary. It's only $4,000, I'll throw in a free case. Buy this laptop. Buy this laptop or your son will not love you. All right? I could use techniques to make people buy shit they don't need. Now, my persuasiveness and assertiveness is like my masculine quality. I know I'm not that masculine, but like a woman using her sexuality, it can be seen as immoral because it's so rare. Like the reason why it wasn't popular until the 60s to show off your body excessively is because your body is supposed to be for your husband because otherwise the whole society breaks down if people just want sex without commitment because then no one knows who the father is in case she gets pregnant and then no one's going to raise the kid and then the kid's going to grow up to go to prison and then you have to pay for the kid to go to prison not all but statistically, the number one predictor of a child being in incarceration, costing taxpayers hundreds of thousands of dollars, is because mama or papa was not around. Because it's so fucking hard for a single parent to care for their kids, especially because grandparents don't give a shit. And grandparents have the pokies. And grandparents are in Thailand chasing pussy. So no one's there to look after the grandkids. And so the point of this video is... Um, don't think it's really that fun to be like an OnlyFans or one of those sexy Instagram girls because the only reason why you are successful was because every generation in history was thought it was forbidden because it's just too much power and you're breaking up homes and you're costing erectile dysfunction and you're costing people not having children like people go to the airport now there's no kids there it's because no one's having kids like around the world no one gives a fuck about children because who's got to buy the cow to get the milk for free? You understand? It's so fucking easy to find loose, loose women or just jerk off over loose, loose women that no one's going to bother to get married. And the thing is, when you get married, when you have sex, when you have a, get pregnant with your wife, when your wife's pregnant, it gives you superpowers. Men get superpowers when, they, when their wife they love has children. It's a fucking strength. It gives you so much power when you know that your DNA is going on. To live like a, like, it's not good for anyone because the women, they, they, they may enjoy for a couple of years, but they, they find joy in anything, especially young women. But for a couple of years, they may enjoy the attention, the clicks, but wait till they turn 28, and it's too late. No one wants to wipe up some fucking Instagram whore. No one. Unless they're a fucking simp. And then that means their kids are going to grow up to be a faggot. 